Hey guys, and welcome to Snowbreak Containment Zone. We're gonna be doing a little bit of a breakdown on the skill rotation for Katja Dawning. I'm gonna be breaking down both of uh, kind of the she has two types of attacks for her um, standard skills. So we're gonna break those down. Plus, I'm gonna highlight um, some of the neural skills that are actually important. So for her standard skill. Uh, when equipped with a frost weapon, decrease the number of crystal veins that disappear from triggering Aurora Ray by half. Generally, six disappear, but if you have this neural skill, definitely it's going to be three only, not going to be six. So it's easier for you to stack up those crystal veins. And for her um, ultimate, uh, after using the ultimate, if there's any crystal veins on the field, Katja immediately uses up to six crystal veins to fire one Aurora Ray at the first target hit by the ultimate skill and up to six crystal veins will disappear so take note for this one it's gonna be six there's no discount for this one for the ultimate so without further ado let's um gonna be showcasing two um play play differences for katya one for clearing out mobs um and one for basically your bosses um so more or less there there are gonna be two commentaries in this video Okay, so for the first run, guys, this is pre-recorded. This is basically your mob clearing ability. So the standard skill for Katja Dawning, she does have a kind of a frost explosion happening there, which is going to deal damage to a maximum of five targets. You don't really need to, to do the whole skill rotation. You can actually do the standard skill as long as you have that energy okay so next up is going to be her standard um skill rotation so standard skill shoot um up until you can get your s energy up already so standard skill deplete it all then shoot to regenerate your standard skill as you can see every time the veins shoot it's only a decrease of three not a decrease of six that is why it's easier to pull up to to regenerate again to 12 and also as you see there there is a charge additional charge or damage if there are veins in the field when you use your ultimate skill so this run the whole run is actually going to be um 41 seconds if i believe let us go through this run again and let us simplify or have a pause on the different aspects of this one so again create then shoot again shooting create okay so up to 12 then shoot as they shoot as well minus three then repeat the process so it's gonna take you time to be able to be familiar with the loop and in terms of incorporating the ultimate and also the operatives that i'm using so i'm basically using we're gonna be going through um the operatives that i'm gonna be using so let us uh, just finish this up this is the fastest clear that i've had with her with just minimum barely minimum requirements for her kit Okay, guys, if you were able to um, see the whole, you know, whole damage or whole battle, you can actually slow it down. You can pause the video and see how the chain goes. It's actually very, very simple. You need to put out all of the crystal veins, first and foremost. Then you shoot. Then once you shoot, be, be sure that you hit because there is a replenishment of S energy for that as well as dealing damage also okay for every crystal vein that fires an aurora ray replenish replenishes four bullets so that is actually the key so my katya just to give you guys a hint she's not built that much yet so attack and um alignment index is going to be your takeaways here and i do only have um manifestation not even my uh, manifestation one both of her partners here let's go to uh where was i uh underground no not not this one so neural sim 
Okay, guys, so this is going to be your team. So definitely, Fanny Starshine is going to give her a lot of help in the ballistic damage side. It's it's going to be a big help for her. I've, I've seen the damage quite significantly increase with her using that rifle and with the magazine being able to have uh, almost continuous, you know, reloading and not a downtime much. She is definitely, Katya is definitely going to regenerate that S energy faster and more consistent basis. Although, when um, when the veins fire, you also generate bullets. Katya, uh, no, Fenny is going to be a big help as well. So, for Maux here, here, she is going to be um, additional damage um, to any opponent, whether it be um, a multi-part opponent or it's going to be a single part opponent like the one we had earlier so again she just multiplies the damage both of them increases the damage potential of katya even though she is only at m you know m0 and with less upgraded uh upgraded logistics and this has been one of the best um i think skill rotations that i've had in this game so tell me what you think of her um i know where she is already in the tier list so comment down in the comment section thank you guys for staying this far take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here